hot crowd tonight, Nancy. Thank you for that warm welcome. Uh, by show of hands, uh, how many of you guys have ever wanted to be a superhero? Yeah, that's good. So I'm also not the only one that had an imaginary friend growing up. <laughs> and uh, maybe superhero is the wrong word because with that title comes a lot of responsibility. Like, you got to save people's lives and shit. I know I ain't got any time for that. And second of all, look at me. I look like a walking string bean with a beard. I've got a billboard for a forehead. <laughs> what possible person would want me to save their life? And who would I even be? Would I jump on the scene as balding man? I'm here to save you. You're all, uh, you're all drowning. Nobody wants to be saved by me. <laughs> so, you know, I go on and, uh, I really just wish I had more of the superpower aspect of it all. You know, like uh, Superman, for example. He could fly really fast, and we saw how he used that power to fly back in time and save Lois Lane, right? Although, I don't really want to save anybody other than myself. Um, <laughs> I'd really like to go back to the day I was born, and I'd like to find my parents and all their joy, and I'd like to shatter their dreams and pull them aside and say, whatever you do, do not name that child Joe. Just, just trust me, do not name him Joe. But the reality of it is, I'm Joe. And growing up in an Italian family, it was always hard to correct anybody uh, because they're always right, you're always wrong. <laughs> they're stubborn, you're stupid. So I just kind of had to deal with it. So I was always introduced as, Joe, come here. Let me introduce you to Joey. Look at this kid right here. He's a good kid, right? He's funny, he's going to make you laugh. He's in school. You studying? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm studying, I'm staying in school. And uh, by the way, my name is Joe. Oh, Joe, over here with the jokes. Look at little Joey. Oh, my goodness. Um, and it got worse because it actually followed me to my job. And, you know, you have one of these aha moments when you're sitting in a meeting full of managers. Your manager leans forward on the table and goes, well, that's okay because my Joey can take care of it. <laughs> your Joey? By the looks of my paycheck, I need to be called your bitch. <laughs> so, fast forward some time, and I meet and fall in love with somebody. And like everybody does, you got to find out about that person, their skeletons. And, you know, she comes to me one night, she goes, hey, babe, can, uh, can we talk? <laughs> okay, because these situations always end well for the guys. <laughs> sure, hon, what would you like to talk about? Well, um, I just kind of want to let you know that I was married before. It's okay, I was too. We both know how to fuck up in life. <laughs> then I get to thinking, so in my divorce, I lost half of my shit. From the looks of her, she took all of his shit. <laughs> so this might not be a bad gig. I might be coming into like, maybe like a pool table, like a motorcycle that needs to be ridden. I got a license, I can play eight ball. I'm down. Next topic, babe. And she goes, well, um, I have two kids. Two kids? I love kids. Kids love me. It's called Betty Crocker's Ready-Made Family. Add water, microwave on high for me. <laughs> <laughs> then she goes, well, um, and it's at this point that I realize I may have more on my hands than I'm bargaining for because maybe she's about to tell me she's a dude or, or, or was a dude. Maybe hers is or was bigger than mine. But that's, 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 and I think about it, as long as it's not bigger than mine, and don't anybody judge me. <laughs> I think I'm okay with that. So I said, what's up, babe? What, what do we got to talk about now? She goes, well, it's, it's my ex's name. Uh. Okay. Anybody said <laughs> yes? Yeah. She was married to a Joe. <laughs> he got Joe. I got Joe. So I move on. I say, honey. Is there anything else in that pretty little head of yours that we would like to talk about tonight? She goes, well, it's kind of your name. I'd like to maybe call you something else. Oh, this bitch. Is she going to want to call me Marcus or something? <laughs> okay, babe, I'm game. What would you like to call me? Well, I was thinking, um, maybe I could call you Joey. That's my set of <laughs>